Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Right, we're straight off into the next one. His home term, town is from Derby. IPA Tour winner, players amateur champion, Babto singles champion. He is Craig, the money making Lakers. Yeah, Craig, you might need your cube belt. Go and get your cube belt. <laughs> Up next, from Aberdeen. His nickname is the Cabbage. Scottish Open champion, Aberdeen singles champion, multiple Scottish title winner. His name is Martin the Cabbage McIntosh. <laughs> Here we go, match six in this last 16. Craig Lakin from England versus Martin McIntosh from Scotland. The winner to play Simon Fitzsimmons later on live on Free Sports. And it's Martin McIntosh that wins the lag, so he will get the break. Good start from Martin, big break to open this match up. And that split on, well, I was going to say that split on reds looks absolutely delightful, but you could go either colour set. I think Martin's been. Uh, well, he's based up in Aberdeen and been playing tournament play, uh, more on the world road side of, uh, of Paul. Uh, but started to make a name for himself in Blackpool and playing an awful lot of challenge money matches over the last few months. He looks to have a few more lined up. just decelerated on that and hasn't come back far enough don't think he can see the red in the top half of the table and this red he's nearest to is mighty thin and if he does make the pot the white is going to be running into those yellows so we'll need a touch of fortune to get on that that red This is the pot, but one thing he has done is not one of Craig Lakin's yellows to the left-hand side rail. Craig going straight after it, trying to develop it. Can play on it if he wants to, but to try and nudge it out there.
attacking the ball on the rail again, and this time he does get the cannon. Nudges it out nicely, and the finish is on the next yellow, so wide open table now for him. Just finished a little bit betwixt and between there, but Craig Lakin went for the double and hits the narrow jaw. So second bite of the cherry for Martin McIntosh and Craig Lakin's going to be very annoyed that he hasn't taken those out. Once he once he cannoned the ball off the rail out, he would have fully expected to uh, complete the frame and get himself going. Martin McIntosh that moves one nil ahead in the frame where both players had opportunities. as is so often the way in the poor world to make a mistake in the previous frame come to table big break but it's dry good pop for Martin but he's nudged the yellow into a problem area he can get it out straight away sure he can see enough of the yellow to the right centre pocket to pop that. Does have an option of the yellow to either the top left or top right. And we could see enough of the one to the centre pocket. We've still got those two yellows on the left hand side of the table and the yellow on the right hand side of the table which just aren't, aren't great. maybe potting himself into a bit of trouble. So similar to frame one, Martin McIntosh not able to complete the first visit finish. Now can Craig Lake counter clear this time?
Oh, Craig Lee can have him got himself going with that, refer, uh, that counter clearance in the previous frame. He's looking to pounce on another Martin McIntosh missed pot in this frame. This is one of his own. Just had too much angle. We would would have loved to have been able to be a bit straighter and stay on the red at the bottom end of the table. I wasn't able to do so. Overhit the position. He snookered himself on the one in the left centre. Not on the one in the corner either, so golden opportunity. And looks like it may have gone. had a result there trying to back double it past that yellow Didn't get the angle right he's left it awkward where's the black going Greg Lakin was trying to play on the red on the left hand side but didn't land on it by nudging the yellow up the table manages to open the pocket for the double still needs a couple of good pots to get this frame one a great pot but he has not got the position total snooker on the black sarcastic fist pump from Craig Lakin but that really could be a key match in that frame both players have had multiple opportunities to take the frame it's Martin McIntosh that makes the final mistake and allows Craig Lakin somehow to go 2-1 ahead Craig Lakin is quite feeling 100 percent looks to be uh, struggling a little bit out there certainly missed a few chances and hasn't quite got hold of the white in, in the way he normally would that's a good break from Craig to go yellows I'm not sure that he can uh, cleanly pop the yellow towards the top right but because it's close enough to the pocket he can play the other yellow on the right hand side rail off it and that will just open it up nicely 
All the other yellows have a, an open pocket. So a good chance to get a break dish and get himself 3-1 in front in this match. Purposely trying to play it off the yellow, but just overdid it. Stop retains control of that table, even though he misses the pot. Shot from Greg Lake in good control and he's perfectly on this yellow to the centre pocket. I'm not sure if the yellow goes to the left centre past the red, it certainly goes to the right centre. He's just having a good look at it for the left centre. Makes things a lot easier if it does. Doesn't, so plays for it for the corner and plays it to perfection. A very precise positional shots from Craig Lakin gets himself 3 1 in front in this match. Those last two frames, both players have had multiple chances, and neither are quite able to get, get hold of the white and, and complete the finishes. But here's Craig Lakin that's. Uh, got the one extra chance each time and that's the reason he's moved himself 3-1 in front we are over halfway in this match so we are down to the 20 second shot clock catches the break really well makes himself a couple of balls and does not have the best split to go at just a couple of balls on the left hand side the two on the bottom right are a, a bit messy as well so when you're 3-1 behind and you, you know you've had some chances you, you want something a bit easier than what you've got Craig Lakin going for the skill shot and because he doesn't make it, turns the table over to Martin McIntosh, gives him a free shot, so good opportunity for him now to open this frame up and cut his gap down to just one frame. opportunity for Martin McIntosh. He's going to be really annoyed with how he's gone so far in this match because he knows he's had the opportunities to be ahead and he's uh, in danger of going 4-1 behind. Craig has the option to cannon out his bad ball off this ball now. Played it really well but it's been unfortunate that the black's gone safe. So he's on that final yellow, but Black 
is really awkward to get out. the red forced into taking something like that on Martin McIntosh going straight after his half ball I don't think that red goes past the black plays the perfect positional shot but then misses the pot Craig would have liked to uh, hit that black a bit more half ball so that the uh, black popped out into the table a little bit more than it did. I have to say, I, um, I was just about to say that Martin, 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 Martin McIntosh didn't really want to put that red where he did because he's behind in this match and with only 10 minutes left in the frame in, in the whole match um, you know he needs to be getting on with it but that's part of the reason why I think that was a surprising shot choice from Craig Lakin because he's in no rush to get on with the next frame frame where both players have had multiple chances it is Martin McIntosh this time he gets the frame on the board and I, I have to say I'm a little bit surprised with the shot choice from Craig Lakin of a bit of hit and hope just simply because if he had just kept that black where it was then you know it's up to Martin to to make the running and when you've only got nine minutes left in the match he's given him a bit of hope that he probably didn't need to do Yeah, a brilliant break giving him a great opportunity to get himself 4-2 in front it'll be 4-2 in front if he does complete the finish but only have six and a half seven minutes left on the match clock when he comes down the table he wants to leave himself an angle on the red to be able to drift back up to take the black into the easy middle pocket if he finishes too straight he can take it to the corner so it's not a real problem and that's why he's tried to come down the table of that shot rather than uh, he didn't quite have the best angle for it though using the yellow to control the shot one good bit of queuing, it will be frame over. He flies in, simple black for the 4 2 lead. And he is just having a good look at the clock, running it down. So after three frames where both players have had multiple chances, finally Greg Laker manages to get hold of a break and rolls him in for a break and finish, moves himself 4-2 in front and with only a few minutes left on the clock, Martin is right up against it.
Blackpool can be a cruel game sometimes. Hits a really good break, but the right gets kicked into the top right-hand corner. So Craig Lakin has a great opportunity to get this match wrapped up. These yellows look very inviting. Every yellow has a pocket, every yellow in the open. to be careful that red in the middle of the table you just got to be careful to, he avoids the, that doesn't let that become a blocker and he's kept it close to the uh, side rail on purpose and the work is done simple black for the match And in it goes. Martin McIntosh will be frustrated with the chances he had and it didn't take early on. To be fair, Craig Lakey missed a few chances in the middle of the match as well, but the break condition, a reverse dish to complete the victory, and he moves on to the quarter-finals. And he will play Simon Fitzsimmons in the next round. And we will go down to Jay to see what Craig thinks of the match. I'm very happy to get the win. It's a great tournament, I really enjoy playing it, so I'm happy to get through, but as a performance, I'll rate it very low. So, one of the are going to get better. Exactly. Next match, you're going to be more prepared, you've got more time to focus. Does the crowd put you off, or the shot clock put you off? I like it, but do you know when you're not playing so well, it gets you at it a bit, do you know what I mean? You start twitching a bit, and I think now I've had a game, I'll settle in more next, and I'll, I'll get a buzz off it more than feeling under it, but yeah, great to get the win, and fingers crossed I'm going to win it. It is, it certainly was out here, isn't it? Great crowd. It's brilliant, the crowd's massive in here, great atmosphere. Yeah. So you played in this before, you played in our last one, do you think you've got what it takes to go all the way this time? Without a doubt, I'm the main draw. <laughs> There you go, you've heard it from his own mouth. So we all wish you the best of luck. Good luck for the next match. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.